was coming here today, I had a friend who's in the crowd text me and say, are you coming to the rally against state-sanctioned child abuse? I said, yes I am, and what a great description. State-sanctioned child abuse. No more safe schools. Prior to speaking, I also got another message which wasn't quite so encouraging. They said this, who are you to dictate to others what your prudish choices are? I personally don't like you at all. That didn't upset me too much, by the way. I find your statements, because they knew I was coming here today, this was about this rally, nauseating and an expression of control, ignorance, and with no actual reference or context, context outside from some archaic, redundant and failed closed-mindedness. <laughs> then they disintegrated into calling me all kinds of names which I would not repeat in this kind of forum and with all kinds of language that I would not repeat in this kind of forum. That's the opposition. So I'll tell you who I am. I am just like you. I am a mother and one day I will be a grandmother and I want to make sure that our schools are truly safe. And if protecting future generations and our current generations means that we are closed-minded or controlling, then so be it. We are here to stand in the gap for our children today. John F. Kennedy once said this, a child miseducated is a child lost. I think that's very appropriate. The Safe Schools Program, Respectful Relationships, and the expansion of the sex ed program that's happening right now within these walls is about miseducation. Absolutely. It's about losing our children. That's right. And it is worth standing in the gap for our children today. So I want to thank each and every one of you for doing just that. Because our greatest legacy, as Billy Graham said, is to pass on to our children and grandchildren, not our money or material things, but rather a legacy of character and of faith. Yes. Safe Schools is not giving our children a legacy of character, and it's certainly not giving them a legacy of faith. In fact, the government is interfering with a parent's right to pass on the character and the faith that they believe in. And that's why we're here today. This is a great sign. Safe schools violates the UN Declaration of Human Rights. And even the government don't get that. It is time for a change. As Rosalie said, it is time to change. And it is absolutely time for each and every one of us to have our voices heard in this parliament behind me. It is time to stand, as I said before, to stand in the gap for our children. Yes, that is our job. That's right, if they are our children. They are not the government's children. They are our children. And we are here. We are here to say no to safe schools. No to respectful relationships. And no to the government that is pushing this agenda on our children. Let's stand in the gap for them today. Thank you. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.